Hello, today we will be going over the Sharefile user management tool. To get started, after you've installed the tool on a server that has access to both the internet and your Active Directory domain, all you need to do is open the tool here. You will be prompted to sign into your Sharefile account. So you'll enter your subdomain at the top, then followed with your email, and then finally your password, and then choose login. Next, you'll be prompted to log in with your Active Directory admin credentials. To start with, you'll come in here and put in your Active Directory domain, followed by your username and your password, and then you'll click Connect. As you can see here, we're brought to the home page. And I'll give you some suggestions on whether you want to create users or groups. I also list your subdomain for a share file, as well as your Active Directory domain. We don't have any rules yet, so we'll come over here to search. We'll search our Active Directory for our Sharefile users group. We'll find our security group here. It has three users listed in it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a rule for that. You'll see three options here. You'll see the option to create a user rule, which will give them, uh, create the users and give them permissions. You can also create a group rule, which will apply their uh, folder permissions. And then you can do a user and group rule at the same time. So we're gonna do the combined option here. So first off, we're doing the user rule. So we'll come in here to user access. I'm going to sign up the test demo group with the demo test file and folder management options. And then for storage location, we'll leave it on the default. You can also set this to storage zones uh, around the world for the cloud, or if you have various on-prem zones, you can set those up as well. We're going to leave all these checked. If you'd like to change the company name here, you can do that. You can also notify users when they're added to the account. You will leave that as is. Hit next. This is the distribution group rule option. We'll leave both of these options checked to create the group and keep it updated. And then we'll hit save. All right, as we can see here now, if we come over to rules, we have both a user rule and a group rule. So we can do a refresh here. And we can see our actions. It's gonna update this Sharefile users group. It's also gonna create all three users. So we'll go ahead and now we can click Commit Now. And we can see the changes have been committed successfully. We hit OK. All right, and if we look down here, we can see our attempt. No errors were found. It created three users. And it created a group. All right. So now we can also see our user count is now 63, was 60 previously, and that's all there is to it. Uh, you can also come in here to rules if you'd like and schedule this. Um, and once you've scheduled a job, it'll run in Windows Task Scheduler, and you can set that for a variety of options. And then the groups will keep updated. So if you add new users, they'll get added to Sharefile automatically and given access to the files and folders assigned to their group. All right. Thank you very much.